What's up y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today we're going to look at the second part of the legendary quest line, and uh, that's going to be called Gul'dan Strikes Back. Now you have to do two quests for this. First one is Legacy of the Sorcerer Kings, you have to get 125 Abrogator Stones, more commonly referred to, however, as Alligator Stones, the same thing. Also, you have to get uh, an item from Korag and an item from Imperator Margok. Now, all of these items are obtainable on LFR, and it doesn't really matter what difficulty you do them on, you'll get the same amount of Abrogator Stones regardless of any difficulty. Now there are going to be three different ways to get these Abrogator Stones really. Now the first way is you have to kill bosses at High Mall, and that's where you're going to be getting most of them. Also you can do work orders and sometimes they have a chance to uh, I guess like have the Abrogator Stones in the work order uh, boxes. Also you can do garrison follower missions and sometimes you can do a mission it's like 24 hours or something like that and it'll give you three Abrogator Stones and so you might really want to do those because honestly I ended up uh, not having, I was like missing one, okay? And so make sure that you do this. And so here we are, Khadgar is summoning Gul'dan, and I'm actually re-recording this video because I was watching it right before I uploaded it, and I realized that I, every single time I said Khadgar, I said Kargath. And there are some things that I just figure that's a little bit over the top. And so I figured I was re-record this. So anyway, so uh, pretty much Gul'dan and Khadgar are just like, they don't like each other at all, okay? And Khadgar, I'm surprised, like Khadgar like overthrew Medivh, right? And Medivh is like the last guardian of Trisfall, big fucking dick, okay? And it doesn't even matter, somehow Khadgar took care of him. That's why he looks old, by the way, because his fight with uh, Medivh aged him. And so anyway, so uh, Medivh's girlfriend and uh, mother of her son, uh, of their son, uh, Medan, his Garona, and you're about to see Garona in a minute. Now, Garona is, uh, is like sneaky. Look at that. Sneaky as fuck, right? Okay, so then she runs away just like the rogue, you know, kills the uh, kills the mage, vanishes, runs away. But that's okay, because we're going to get her. Okay, we're going to get her. Don't worry about it. So anyway, after you, uh, after Kargath is like pretty much laying on the floor here, uh, take, taking a dirk nap, uh, you're going to go over here talk to Cordana, uh, Cordana Felsong. And by the way, you have to do both of these quests, right? So it's not like you can just do Empire's Fall or just do Abrogator Stones. You have to do both of them. So either way, uh, you pick up the quests, and there's going to be a bunch of like little... And by the way, you're at the uh, you know the same place that you do all the rest of this stuff at. But I figured I might as well mention that. That's where it is. So anyway, uh, you got to run over the first like little green thing. And uh, guess what? you got to follow the uh, the little green puddles. And then after a while following the puddles, you're going to get to Garona. Now, Garona is, like, the main rogue in the game. Now, I don't know if she's, like, salty about uh, Khadgar killing her boyfriend or what, or this is just a separate timeline, what, whatever, however it works, okay? And I just wish it was this easy to find rogues in, the, in, the, in PvP because I wish they had to do this. Like, every single time that they were in Vanish mode, they have to have, like, a little pool of green things so they can't just run away and there's no way you can stop them. And so here we go, and uh, so Garona pops out of nowhere, and uh, then just starts running away. And so again, uh, running away while you have poisons on you. I mean, like, they really designed this. Uh, it's very realistic of PvP or any real rogue that you're going to be fighting against. And so you pretty much just have to chase her down here and damage her. And the lower you damage her, the better. And this is, like, kind of a pain in the ass. But it's not really too big of a deal. Um, personally, like, I took it, this was, like, the first time I tried this. And so you're going to have this little dot on you. And so if you have a self-healing cooldown, you might want to use it. But even as a warrior myself, like, I didn't really have too much trouble doing this at all. And uh, after you get her, uh, she's going to, like, run into the cave. And then you pretty much finish her off in there. Now, you have a buff, and I think it, like, makes you do more damage to her. And so that makes it a little bit easier. And if it's, if I didn't, I guess I didn't say it already because I'm re-recording this, um, you get a ring from doing this. This is like the, the third level of the ring, so like the, the second level was 680, this is a 690 ring, and it also has a proc that gives you a bonus to your main stat. I think it's 10% of your main stat, and so that's nice to have, and as you can see, there she is in the cave, and you know, that you're too late, and then like she does a little fire charge. She doesn't really do a whole lot of really interesting abilities, uh, just like a fire charge, and I think like one other thing. But uh, again, just make sure that you kill her as fast as you can. It's not really too hard to do, honestly. And so you beat her up, and I don't, I don't know why you don't kill her. Like I think maybe you do, maybe you don't. She's a one health, so I don't know what it is. Like there's one thing I've learned is whenever you catch a rogue, you don't let them go. You don't let them get away. So, anyway, so the the poison uh, that that they did on Kagar, right? Uh, we got the antidote to it, and so we're gonna go save Kagar. Uh, so he can so he can come back up, resurrect up, and uh, and kick Gul'dan's ass because Gul'dan is I mean you guys know Gul'dan's a he's just, 
he's a real trickster, okay? And so he's trying to summon Sargeras and just all kinds of problems. Like, nobody wants him around. So either way, uh, you bring uh, bring back the antidote to Cordana Fel, uh, Felsunk, or whatever. Probably not Felsunk, doesn't really sound, sound right. Either way, the uh, um, the warden here, and uh, then Kagar is sitting on the ground, uh, you know, chilling. Um, anyway, so then you talk to him, and uh, he's going to give you the quest to get the ring. And so then him and Jaina, what they're going to do is somehow, uh, apparently if you collect 125 of these rocks, somehow that turns into a ring. Okay, and I was thinking about how dumb that was, but then I remember people buy diamond rings, and those are expensive. Okay. So, I mean, like, it's not, is, is it even really that dumb? I guess not. Uh, so you have to take these things from Imperator Margok and, and Korag, by the way. And so both of those guys are like the Sorcerer, well, I guess Imperator is a Sorcerer King. But Margok, or sorry, uh, yeah, Imperator is Sorcerer King. Korag is, I mean, he's dangerous too, you know, infused with foul energy. You guys have seen him. <laughs> Watch out. So either way, uh, they're summoning some kind of fireball, like this is Lord of the Rings or something like that. Uh, you're gonna have to run into it like y'all remember this before and uh, I don't know if like you're at, like 10% health if this kills you or not I have no idea probably it just takes you to one health maybe it kills you that'd be funny if it did uh, um, after this you go ahead you, you like run into the fire thing as you guys saw and then you're gonna be able to pick up the ring now a lot of people uh, might not have watched the first video or might not know this and so we're also gonna look at where to buy an extra ring just in case you don't have I guess like the uh, I don't know, like you got two specs, right? Or you just want to have a higher item level, so you have two 690 rings. Okay, then you're going to get four different quests. And we'll talk about the ring, where to buy the extra one too. Now, you can start working on one quest first. And so, uh, the one, where is it? It's the next one, I'm pretty sure. And the other three are all in Blackheart County. Yeah, here it is. Might of the Elemental Wards. And so, you're going to be able to get three Elemental Tablets. Now, you need 300 of these little Elemental Rocks, basically. And you can do garrison missions in the same way you were able to do them for the Abrogator Stones. There's the guy that sells the extra ones anyway. So the, the same way you were able to do them for the Abrogator Stones, you can do them the exact same way for these uh, these Elemental Stones. You need 300 to make one tablet, so you effectively need 900. Someone did the math, and it's probably going to be about uh, five weeks in order for you to uh, com complete all the rest of these quests. So either way, guys, this is a pretty straightforward and easy one to do. Just make sure you collect all the Abrogator Stones and kill Korag and Imperator, which is probably going to happen at the same time that you're killing the Abrogate, getting the Abrogator Stones. So that's pretty much all, you, all I got, and we will go over the Blackrock Foundry ones whenever that comes out, because I have no idea how to do any of these, but it's probably just going to kill Boss, right? Not too hard. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.